Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com and your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses, and this is your Wednesday morning forecast update. Once again, dealing with some fog across the Arkle Text this morning. Once the fog lifts out of here, turns into an absolutely perfect afternoon as we'll be in the low to mid 70s today. Perfect night today, but we do have some changes Thursday into Friday as we have another cold front and another chance of some strong thunderstorms on the way. That would mainly be Thursday night into early Friday. Show you that in just a moment. Uh, we do have some sites, at least some of the airport sites in the Arkle Text reporting some mist and maybe some light rain this morning, and that's likely due to the fog. We're not seeing anything as far as uh, detectable rainfall on radar. So the fog that we're seeing, and you can see the visibility about a mile or less in a lot of areas here, uh, is likely contributing to some of that mist that we're seeing. So it may seem like it's raining, but it's likely uh, just some of that fog that's out there. Early this morning and your temperatures will start out the day in the upper 40s. Really not too bad, kind of a cool morning. So you'll probably want something with sleeves early, but uh, just take a look at that. Great weather this afternoon. Low to mid 70s, so just that perfect range of afternoon temperatures today. So our area of low pressure brought the uh, rain and storms past few days. That's moving out of here. High pressure building in. That's the situation we like to be in, and that will uh, continue to clear our skies today. So we'll see a little more sunshine in the weather pattern today as well as tomorrow. However, late tomorrow, that's when our next cold front will move in. And you can see here on Futurecast a few thunderstorms popping up uh, near us Thursday night and possibly a few thunderstorms over the Arkletex on Friday morning. This will be a pretty quick hit of thunderstorms here. Uh, and again, uh, just due to the time of the year here, a lot of the ingredients exist to see some severe weather. It doesn't necessarily mean that we'll see severe weather in that whole outlook area. But uh, in the yellow area there, that's where we could see some scattered severe storms. And it's kind of an interesting setup. Typically with the uh, severe storms in this part of the country, we always have some kind of wind or a tornado risk. That's not the case with this one. We won't see much of a wind risk. This will uh, mainly be for the potential for some large hail Thursday night into Friday morning. So again, uh, best thing to do uh, Thursday night, just make sure your car is in a carport or parked in the garage there and uh, we should be just fine. Again, I don't expect uh, widespread thunderstorm activity, but we may get a handful of storms out there and those storms will be capable of some large hail just given the uh, conditions that will set up in the atmosphere. Uh, we should be dry most of the day Friday. That rain will move out of here pretty quickly. The temperatures drop just a smidge there on Friday. And uh, great weather still expected this weekend. Absolutely gorgeous weekend. And they enjoy that. Next Monday, Tuesday, we've got another storm system on the way. Looks like we'll have a decent chance of seeing maybe another threat of severe weather. That would be Monday night into next Tuesday morning.